Now we are going to see the instruction SPHA. So for this instruction, the opcode is the whole instruction itself. That is SPHA. In this instruction, no operand is present. You can see that in this instruction there is no data. It means this instruction is of one byte. Now let's see the meaning of the instruction SPHA. SPHA means load the value of HL to the stack pointer. Load the value of the HL pair to the stack pointer. So let's see the example. That is the instruction itself SPHA. Suppose before the execution, the stack pointer contains 4000 H and HL pair contains 3000 H. Now stack pointer contains 4000 H. It means the top of the stack is 4000 H. The stack pointer is pointing at top of the Now when this instruction is executed, the content of HL pair will be transferred to the stack pointer. So content of HL pair is 3000 H. It will be transferred to the stack pointer. So after the execution, what will be the value of the stack pointer? It will be 3000 H. So previously the stack pointer was pointing at 4000 H, but now it is pointing at 3000 H. So now we are pointing at new stack. What is the value of HL after the execution? So value of HL will remain the same, that will be 3000 H. Now, can you tell me what will be the machine cycle? Because this instruction is of only one byte, when it is stored in the memory, it will occupy only one memory location. After the instruction is stored, the processor will read the instruction. To read, it will use the first machine cycle that is upward fetch. When the processor performs the upward fetch, the instruction is transferred. The processor will decode and execute. During the execution, the data transfer is happening between two register pair which are the part of the microprocessor. So only one machine cycle is needed that is a port fetch and no flags are affected for this instruction.